I reckon music's a good way to get things off your chest without anyone knowing about it. So you can kind of disguise it with all these metaphors and things like that. And you kind of know you're saying it, but it doesn't affect anyone else. I'm starting my first week year 12. Be stressed. I've been practicing every night after school with these jokers. On Friday night we have our probably most important gig yet, a CD launch. And then on Saturday we've got big day out and then Sunday. I've got to get my driving license next week. How many times have you failed then? Three. That is stress. My name is Konka, but my MC name is Context. And I grew up in Sudan, but traveled to Australia in 2003. My name is Duplessis. Um, my MC name is Life Hurts. Yo, my name's Love Hurts and I'm ahead of my time Early a prime, but dead in line sights I hike mics so dollar for the illest rhyme fights Making music, making beats, uh, writing rhymes, everything It just helps release the stress of you know, being like a teenager And people will say, oh listen, you, sh you should have a talk with someone, you know Or, you know, I'm always here to talk Well, the pen and the pad were, was that person, you know Pen is good though it makes me realize that before all of this, I was living through the lies. The music that goes on in the Sudanese community is not hip hop or anything. It's more Afrobeat, it's more like that. It's just dance music, it brings the community together. Tell us about Afrobeat and your style of music starting to catch on. I think um, even people who haven't grown up there and don't know about it, um, when they hear it for the first time it's infectious and uh, it, it grabs them right away. It makes you want to dance. It's, it's powerful stuff. My panoramic view of the planet that I inhabit is as African as the strength of my mind can manage. In Africa I think people use music in a different way. You know, wedding or uh, or a funeral in Africa, and the music is the the core part of the of the the process of um, joy or of mourning. Has one of your bandmates experienced depression or some kind of mental illness? Mental illness can encompass, I guess, a lot of different things. Like you know, maybe I'm guilty of, of not taking the time to talk to people about important stuff. I'm trying to do that more often, so I can, you know, my friends and family you know, understand a bit more about how they're coping with things and just how they feel. Personally, I believe well-being is a whole picture. It's very round, you know, and I think you need to have physical health, mental health, spiritual health, and emotional health. I mean, personally, I'm a musician, but I think the music holds a very important part of human well-being. The whole premise behind live performance, I think, is to bring people together. We feel good together, we dance together, we sing together. There's real power in, in collective consciousness and there's real strength in remembering that you're not alone. Hi, my name's Samuel Graham and I live in Gisborne South, which is a little rural town in country Victoria. While living in a country town, you, f you tend to face a lot more issues due to discrimination like homophobia, racial stereotypes, and at times because of the isolation of the rural area, it feels like you haven't really got many people to talk to, but as long as you keep some close friends and close family members and keep them informed about how you're feeling, then you can get through issues like that. Riding around on the aces, so hung over. Gonna go down and JB high fly, flick through Indy. How do you
do you think where you grew up influenced your music? I don't know, I've always felt like a bit of an outsider. Bernie's kind of an industrial meat and potatoes kind of coastal town on Tasmania. Tasmania's northwest coast. It's kind of like Summer Bay meets Guantanamo Bay. It's kind of like, you know, what are you looking at? That was like the first words I ever heard as I was being born by the doctor. I grew up around, you know, suppressed men most of my life and so I think most of my artistic output has been about kind of um, remedying that as much as possible and being like the most expressive, flamboyant, kind of out there kind of guy I can be. I just want to, I want to have the conversation about mental illness more because most of my life's been defined by mental illness, mostly by my mother suffering and, and uh, my own touches with depression, so but it's really hard. Mental health awareness needs more jokes. And especially when you're trying to get teenagers interested in something. Um, like, make it sexy, for God's sake. I saw on Wikipedia that Beyonce is listed in the celebrities who have suffered depression. Get a pamphlet with Beyonce on it. You know, it's like, <laughs> feeling depressed? So is Beyonce. And she's like, in some gold onesie. <laughs> I'm like, alright. Hey man, I'm gonna go. I'm like running out of street credit. But, um, yeah, it's, like, it's a shame you can't come to my party. I know, I just didn't invite you though. Leaders. It's not one reason all created equal. My name is Scott Griffiths. My um, stage name is Optimus. I've been a hip hop musician for about eight years. You know, I was someone that didn't do well academically at high school. I can remember having points in, in high school where I felt really you know, down on myself and depressed. Some of the times I used to just write my feelings on paper. And I always thought, you know, from that point on that if I ever had issues that I would write it um, so I could read what I was feeling. It's all about the issues. The issues be what hits you. Hit you harder every time, no matter what you did to deserve this. You're nervous, so why try and interpret the feelings that you got because it'll never be a deterrent. Some people perceive people who um, suffer from mental illnesses as being um, not sick or not hurt. You know, if you break your leg, people can go, wow, that guy's got a broken leg. You know, so he's obviously hurt. But because mental illness is, is something that's instilled inside your brain, people don't perceive it in the same way. They don't give people the opportunity to recover and mental illness is something that, that you know, everyone suffers with. If you don't suffer it, someone in your family will, your mum or your dad or your sister, your brother, your cousin, your friend. Uh, hi, my name's Jeremy. I go by the DJ alias of DJ Jeremy Tucker. I'm all about something that cranks hard, something that, you know, really gets people going and really gets them in, in a good mood. And I find, you know, when I'm in a bad mood or if I'm feeling a little bit down or feeling a little bit depressed at home, you know, I turn on all my setup and play some beats that get the heart rate going. Well, Boom Bap Power is like a good time band, you know, like music's about having fun and dancing and that sort of thing, as well as, you know, reflecting and, and you know, being emotional. Do you find that your culture really influences either your melodies, your song lyrics? I don't know. In, in terms of culture, like, I guess if we're talking about um, Aboriginal culture, it, it can be pretty diverse, you know, every family's got a different story and that sort of thing. I'm from the Southwest, and as part of um, my research work that I do, I've seen, you know, songs about, um, you know, things about like being away from your from your country, being away from your family, or um, you know any sort of turmoil that, that a person may go through. And people are talking about this in songs. This is Noongar songs, you know. This is like songs in languages that before you know this country and western thing came through. Has it got you through any hard times? I know, you know, music for me, like I find it as a bubble. You know, you, know, you, you can't be bored if you you've got a musical instrument around, you know. And then that's also a way that you can connect with other people um, in, you know, playing music together. My, my dad, he's got bipolar and growing up with him, um, you know, can be some, somewhat of a struggle. Um, it, it's kind of broken up a lot of my family and, um, but initially that's what happened. But in bringing it all back together and looking at it now, it's really brought um, our family closer. What are your experiences with mental illness? Certainly for me, um, been a little bit isolated at times. Uh, in my youth, I'd, music's been like the way that I can, you know, find some way of connecting to people, which is, I think, what it's all about. You know, everyone has has some sort of troubles, and um, if you've got that support there, you know, you can 
you can turn to it, whether that be people or, or something that you can connect to people with. Got me to take a breather But she comes and goes I don't make much money off music, but I kind of always knew that I was never going to. So as long as I'm proud of everything I've done, which I am, I, you know, I'm succeeding. And if I'm stressed out or feeling depressed or anything, I kind of go swimming, which I love. I swim as much as I can. I have seen like a counsellor a few times, which is really good. I split up with my partner that had a child with um, after that I was quite depressed you know my sister suggested that I should see this person and so I did it and then it was really good I'm Kim Penner I'm 21 um, I'm studying occupational therapy OT there's many different areas that you can work in and I think mental health really appeals to me because I've seen a lot of people go through some pretty hard times. I've been through a few down, down patches in my life, especially in the last three years. Um, I lost my brother in a motorbike accident about three years ago, and um, I just know look, like grief is a huge process. Yeah, I've, I've certainly been in a position where I've needed to talk to someone, and I have, and it's it's been you know the best thing. There is someone on the roof There are cars parked in the street There's eyes melting on the lawn The wind blows carefully I think it's, it's, an, it's a very important thing for um, individuals and also groups of people um, to have music in their lives at all times. Often I'll, I'll look forward to a rehearsal or a gig, you know, in, in a week. If I'm having a week where I've, you know, having a really bad week or if I'm feeling really, you know, just, just not very good about where I'm headed, I'll look forward to a gig that we've got in two weeks or I look forward to a rehearsal that we've got to kind of make me feel better about, about what I'm doing and, and to kind of look forward to actually playing music with my friends and, and it really makes me feel better. I think if, if there was a young person that was struggling with with what was happening, I'd, I'd probably suggest just talk to someone, yeah. anyone at all, and, and don't feel like it's stupid, and yeah. don't feel like it's it's not worth it, and don't feel like you're uh, being silly, yeah. you know, because it's not silly. It's, it's very, it's a very serious thing, yeah. or it's it, you know, maybe it's not a very serious thing. Maybe it's just something you need to work out. And this is where it ends. And this is where it starts. This is where we are. This is where we bed. We bed down. Down. We bed down. We bed down. This is where we bed. We bed down. Down. We bed down. We bed down. This is where we. We bed down. We bed down. We bed down. It's always starting. We bed down. We bet down, we bet down, it's always starting.